trying to conceive? We were trying for two years and then we stopped. We had um, miscarriages back to back, so I, I was just fed up. We have been trying to conceive for seven years. We've had five IVFs, two miscarriages. It was only in September last year that we found out my husband's got a male factor infertility diagnosis. It's not always going to be the woman that is the issue. I do suffer from PCOS. I have quite high androgen levels. I get all kinds of symptoms like facial hair, weight gain, uh, no ovulation, hair loss, <laughs> all those wonderful things. I feel like isolated a lot of the time because even in my own culture, we just don't really talk about these sort of things. I'm an Indian person. As soon as I got married, the questions came out. Why have you not had a baby yet? When are you having a baby? I think that's one of the reasons I've actually got my back to the camera. I identify as trans, mask, non-binary. I want to be a parent very much, but I know that the narrative of mother doesn't fit me, and so often I can feel excluded. I definitely had times where friends are sharing their happy news, and in the moment, you're very happy, and it's like, that's fantastic news, I'm so chuffed for you, and then in your head, it's like, can you go away now? I have up days, I have down days. Even doing this interview is quite triggering, so. Brilliant, you're doing really well. Having miscarried two pregnancies, I wasn't ready for the grief that that would bring with it. You don't realise that it's an actual death you're dealing with. I haven't dealt with death firsthand like a family member, so that was my first experience. And yeah, it hits really hard. When do you feel most alone? Probably when I'm about to go to sleep. When you just get on a tube and you just see everyone has got a baby on board sticker or everyone in the world seems to just have children. When I look out over social media at the community I'm in that doesn't really have an example that I can follow. Getting your period and realising that hope is gone for another month. I think it's quite sad that I have to feel that I can't talk to people about it because of my culture and my background. Do you feel better when you can share your pain to someone who understands? It just lightens the load so much. Having used the Peanut app for a few months now, I have met so many wonderful women. I feel so supported by them. When I've met people who are dealing with infertility or PCOS specifically, you know, we kind of just bond quickly. Oh, you too. Great, I'm not by myself because you do feel like you're the only one in the world. We're gonna show you hashtag Mother's Day on Instagram. How does looking at that make you feel? I feel FOMO. Sad, actually. A little bit envious, probably a little bit jealous. Excluded. How would you feel if we told you today that everyone closest to you right now, from the stylist to the makeup artist to the sound engineer to a DOP to me, have all either had a miscarriage, gone through IVF, or are trying to conceive? I like, I'm about to, this is, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's really nice. That's comforting. Thank you. Thank you. For allowing me to talk about it. <laughs> Thank you. Aw, so much love in the room. <laughs> it feels nice to be surrounded, you know, by people that just know how it feels, that you're not alone. Mm.